Hello, I am Rushikesh Kulkarni. Now I am going to demonstrate how Pumjack mechanism actually works using 2D animation in MX. First of all, we are going to understand what is Forbar chain mechanism. It is actually inversion of Forbar chain mechanism. This is actually beam engine. In this beam engine, crank is rotating. Rotational motion of crank is transmitted through this pitman arm to the walking beam. This walking beam is then oscillating. Rotational motion is converted into the oscillatory motion of walking beam. This walking beam is oscillating and its motion is transmitted to the piston and this piston is then reciprocating. Here you will found that prime mover is responsible for rotation of crank. Then again same thing is there rotational motion is transmitted to the walking horse head beam this was walking beam this due to this shape it is called as horse head walking beam this rotational motion is transmitted to the walking beam it is oscillating and this oscillation mo motion oscillatory motion is responsible for reciprocating motion of plunger and this plunger is extracting oil due to this reciprocatory motion of plunger you will see the animation here i had uh, kept slow mo uh, motion actually to understand this mechanism here you will find that uh, this crank is rotating rotational motion is transmitted to the horse head walking beam and this beam is then responsible for reciprocative motion of piston in the oil head okay let's go to the annex this is the sketch which is fully constrained here we are going for the option animate const dimension in the search you can type animate and you will get that option click on animate dimension then click on the angle given at the crank this ang click on this angular dimension then keep lower limit as 0 upper limit as 360 keep uh, somewhat maximum steps or cycles to understand the animation Okay, this is how this pump jack mechanism will work. Now we are going to do this from the scratch. I'm going to delete this. Now we are going to create sketch. First of all, we are going to create crank. Let's take the length as 25, angle is 45. Then create pitman arm I am taking uh, three times of crank its length now I am going to create one point here about which our beam is going to oscillate going to constrain with the origin Now we're going to give horizontal dimension. I'm going to create line. I'm going to create collinear line. Now we are going to create plunger. I'm creating one bell head I had pressed C to get geometric constraints here is equal length constraint is there I'm going to click over there first object 
second object now we are going to use mirror command to keep symmetry now we are giving dimensions this vertical dimension and uh, giving vertical dimension to the piston as well going to specify its uh, diameter for well head as well going to constrain reciprocating arm with the origin constraining bottom sir bottom bottom side of well head and constraining top side of well head as well in vertical dimension now we created fully constrained sketch now we are going for animate dimension click on animate dimension just click over the angular dimension here give lower limit as 0 upper limit as 360 degree going to first of all we will fit this from history i had called this command again click on angular dimension give lower limit give upper limit will increase this uh, length this is not sufficient I think we need to increase this thing uh, we will say we will keep as 30 keep 40 for safe side in both direction this animation is shown by the system thanks for watching this is how we are able to create kinematic animation 2d animation to understand different kind of mechanisms thanks for watching our video please like share and subscribe uh, subscribe our channel like share our video thanks for your time